Joining us now is a longtime friend of this show. I want you to welcome back humorist and syndicated columnist Ron Hart. Good to have you back, Ron. Thank you. Appreciate it. We always have a great time when you <laughs> show up. The, the thing is, we never know what you're going to say. <laughs> And we're worried about it a lot of the time. We really are. That's why you edit things. That's exactly why we have editors who are standing by to protect us just in case. All right, let's start with this. Assess for us this year's presidential race. You got a president who could probably save money for the White House by hiding his own Easter eggs right now, right? So you got, he's, they didn't put him out there on the Super Bowl. You know, the first time ever, you got yeah. you know, 100 million people, audience, he, he didn't talk on the Super Bowl. He, 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 you know, deferred on that. But he said he would throw out the first pitch. So. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the audience is just now catching that. Stay with me. Yeah. Uh, this, this, this may go fast. Uh, but, but, you know, it, it's, it's kind of funny. You got an older guy who's losing it. And who, you, you, if he's your grandfather, you'd be fearful he would be taken by telemarketers. <laughs> he's, he's up against Trump, who probably owns the telemarketing firm. So, <laughs> so I'm not sure he's going to win that battle, but they're trying to get Joe out there. In the, anyway, out, out in the world, he, he uh, visited the tomb of the unknown soldier, made a speech, and said he knew the guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> whatever, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, you know, they got him out there touring the country. That's election year. He's got to tour the country. He never gets out of Washington, the 47-year Washington guy. He's out there touring the country. <laughs> One thing he did, found remarkable, how many towns are named after their water tower? I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> he, he told me, he asked his staff to look, <laughs> look into that, but that's it. Yeah, he got a bunch of buffoons. And, you know, he's, it's, the world's on fire, crime, you know, Ukraine wars. I mean, it's a mess, and it's really of his own making. He's kind of a weak president. I don't know who's putting the words in the teleprompter right now. I'd like to know who that is. Someone suggested that what they should do is turn the teleprompter screen around <laughs> because we could read it better, better than, than he's it reading can. it to yeah. us, and at least we would understand it. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that would be better. Yeah. Um, Donald Trump is faced, even with the ones that have been dismissed, he's still faced with 85 counts right. of criminal charges. Uh, I mean, this is unprecedented. You have the sitting president going after his political opponent. Is it helping Trump, hurting Trump, or indifferent? Probably helping him, I'm guessing. Uh, you know, they're great monologue, by the way. That was a great piece you did. Um, there's one case that they haven't looked at fully enough. There's a blockbuster in Illinois that found out he did not re rewind his tape in 1988. <laughs> so they, they're going to have the Chicago DA... Right now, Chicago doesn't have a case, right? So you got to, it's like the Olympics, you got to bid for it. Like, you know, okay, we're going to go after Trump. Chicago, where do you bid? You know, LA, where do you bid for it? So, no, it, it's sad. And, you know, he, he has to raise money. He didn't make the, the payment that he had to make recently. You know, he did this sneaker thing, you know, the, the yeah. Trump sneaker. And not to be outdone, Hillary did one where she did cement shoes. <laughs> kind of a, <laughs> try to raise some money for, for her. <laughs> Her effort, and, <laughs> but you know, it, it is it is lawfare in the highest regard. The Colorado Supreme Court recently voted five to zero to remove Bill Clinton's name from the Epstein Island list. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's and we'll see if they get overturned. I mean, some of this stuff is funny, but you know, the sad reality is we're looking at a country that we almost don't recognize from the one most of us grew up in, right? Where there was equal justice. If you were committing a crime, it didn't matter where your politics were, um, you know, you were likely going to be charged. And right. The other guy was going to be charged, too, and it didn't yeah. matter. I said to Tom recently, living. you know, here's a 79-year-old man who all of a sudden became a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that really happen? And then, you know, of course, Biden's in trouble, too, and they're both in trouble with the law. But I don't know if the law matters to him anymore. When you're 80 years old and you're looking at life in prison, it's not big. It's not a big detriment. <laughs> it's not quite what it is for most people uh, to do that. You probably top in court five years and you die. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's a whole weird system. I think most people see through it. Most people see this could be me. Yeah, I mean they could come after Absolutely. me. Absolutely. And the yeah. African American vote in Atlanta. What happened to Fonnie Willis in Atlanta? I, I lived in Atlanta for a long time. I thankfully moved out of there. It's a mess. Everything you hear about the DA office in, in Atlanta, double it. It's, it's terrible. And, and the cities that they're going after him with, if, you, if Utah went after him for something, I, I would have more credibility, right? A fair jury, you know? Yeah. But these are all Soros-funded 
DAs who are, have a political ambition to go after him over very frivolous things. I, I mean, it, it, where's the victim up in uh, New York of yeah. this loan thing? Everybody made money. Hunter Biden's artwork's 500000 and Trump overvalues his assets? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning, you mentioned some of the things that are going on in the world. Uh, Ukraine, uh, the Houthi pirates uh, taking over ships uh, yeah. of, of friendly well, countries, and Haiti being run by cannibals, for Yeah, the Houthis, you know, they're, 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 the Somali pirates are taking over ships down there, and, you know, all, these are our ships going through the canals down there. Uh, the Houthis are taking over, and Biden's bowed to get the Houthis. He's going to take it one step further. He's going to get the blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, promised, he's promised to get the blowfish, too. So, you know, they got him wound up about this one. So, and, you know, it's, it, in Haiti, you know, you got gangs running Haiti. There hasn't been gangs running Haiti since the Clinton Foundation was down there. You know, it's, it's been a long time. So, you got cannibals down there. You got barbecue and, and, and all these. I mean, it's, I mean, you can't make this up. All of a sudden, this country's run by the gangs that are cannibals. All of a sudden, the Donner Party is their, their political party name. And they uh, don't accept a lunch invitation from no, these people. The State Department. <laughs> not a good idea. Not it. But it's, it's, a, it's a whole mess down there. And, I, and look, at the end of the day, that it shows you how fragile government can be, you know, in Haiti or any yeah. other country, that how quickly it can turn. And I'm, I'm fearful of our country right now. Like you said, I am very fearful that we're on the edge of something. And, I, and I'm concerned about the deep state and, and the things yeah. that they're doing. It'll be interesting to see what happens this election. I really hope the Republicans watch Detroit, Philadelphia, these polling places down there, make sure nothing happens bad there. But, you know, for the most part, I, hopefully the country, the country's a right of center country. We're not represented well. We get, there's such a, you know, 51, 49% world we live in. And, I, and I hopefully the, the, the right wing people will get their act together on several political issues and win this time. Well, keep your eye on everything because we want to bring you back before the election <laughs> at least once and talk about what's going on. And you can keep up with everything that's on Ron Hart's mind, not just when he's here, but his regular columns, which I read every week religiously. I need to read them religiously because Ron doesn't always write them religiously. <laughs> so that's my job to put something spiritual in the reading of them. Yeah. His opinion pieces, stand-up appearances, and a whole lot more. You can keep up with him. We have links at Huckabee.tv. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.